Greetings everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. No uh, snow copying someone's intro today guys, I just didn't really feel like it, don't quite know why. But yeah, anyway. So yes, in today's episode of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock, we're going to be battling the Mahogany City Gym. So, let's get going. I've trained up Super Skarm, as I said I would in the last episode. It is level 46, same as everyone else. It's got leftovers because it's a pretty bulky Pokemon. And it's going to be, you know, it's got Brave Bird, Spike, Stealth Rock, Steel Wing. Brave Bird because it has Rock Head, which is one of the abilities it gets in Sacred Gold, I believe. And then Spikes and Stealth Rock are going to help because we can, you know, set them up at the start of the match. And then Steel Wing is going to be its other stab type move, or other stab move, I should really say. Anyway, okay, let's pop over to the gym and just get battling. We'll see, we'll see how it does, really. Uh, I've got to remember how to do this gym now. <laughs> no idea how to do this gym. I haven't been here ages. Okay, so that's the first room done. Let's battle these skiers first, though. So, yeah, how are you guys doing today? I'm not too bad myself. Let's just go Steel Wing here. Okay, is Steel super effective? Oh, yeah, of course. It's resist resisted. It's resisted by water, though. Let's just use that nice... Um, Stealth Rock there, so Daily Bird is just going to die. And die. Anyway, Steel Wing is really quite. Is how. How. What's its accuracy? I swear it's a decent move, but. Where are we at? 90, so it's not a brilliant accuracy, to be fair. Anyway, okay, so let's get over and battle the second person here. Hello, s s he's not a skier anymore, he's a snowboarder. Let's just set some Stealth Rocks up. More Stealth Rocks. There's no point in setting more Stealth Rocks up, is there? Idiot me. See, the leftovers there just really help us out, so steal wing it. And then here comes a Snorrent. Let's see how much damage a Snorrent takes from the Spikes and the Stealth Rock. Uh, I'm guessing a lot. <laughs> okay, that's a Spikes gone, and there's a Stealth Rock's gone. Okay, so it's down to half health already, so really they're going to help quite a lot, especially in that final battle with the Pri uh, Prices Pokemon. There we are. Okay, so yeah, uh, I guess we'll just carry on. I guess we're going to stick with Super Skarm for the battle. Because that's going to be easiest. Is that what? No. Was that the. No, it was the wrong way. Damn it. Let's reset the room. I'm not too bad today, guys. Uh, what did I do today? I had. F four lessons, yeah. One of them was a boring lesson, as usual. Same lesson every Friday. Enrichment or whatever. Learning. PHSC, whatever you want to call it. Bullshit. We just sat there and talked to people for an hour <laughs> while the teachers chatted to themselves. Um, then I had maths, which is alright. It wasn't too bad today. And uh, what else did I have? Uh, let's do this, shall we? Spikes, 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 and go for that. Damn, that thing's resisting my stick. Oh, of course, it's a cloister. I was like, why is it resisting it so much? Oh, yeah, it's a cloister. Okay, let's use a potion quickly. Damn, cloister can really tank this thing. Or tank any steel type, I guess. And there it's gone. Pyro Swine's gonna die. Almost. Not quite, but yeah, it took some decent damage there. Jinx is also gonna die. Super Scarm is awesome, but yeah, um, maths wasn't too bad. I like my I like mechanics. It's mechanics, maths. Uh, or my maths lesson today was mechanics, and I like that. It's not too bad. It's just everything else. I don't like one. Well, you know, maths is alright. You know, it just gets a bit boring and tedious sometimes. So it takes like an hour to do one question, which is just you know what what. And uh, then I had double IT, so I just sat there and played games. I actually played like, Mario, Sonic, whatever, online, <laughs> because I've I pretty much finished my IT coursework, and it hasn't got me done until like April, so. Okay, Stealth Rock time. Unfortunately, we're getting hit by the thingy, the uh, hail, but we can tank that. We're awesome. And now we can go for a Brave Bird hit rather than anything else, because that's probably the better choice. Glaceon is going to take damage, and they all have Ice Shard. They like to use Ice Shard, don't they? <laughs> Glalie is just going to die from a Steel Wing too. Okay, awesome. And we can then just sort of... We can't really skate down, can we? Oh, yeah, we can. There we are. Boom. And we can battle this guy. Hello, he knows Price's secret. Oh, I wonder what that is. We could probably just take out these two out like this. Celia's coming out. Let's use Brave Bird. Yeah, you dead, bro. You dead, bro. Okay, uh, what's Price's secret then? We'll ask him in a second. Let's just grab some. Just to say we're going all the way out of the gym. And do, actually, we better do because we ran out of PP on the steel wing almost. So I guess we can go and do that quickly. Won't take too long. There's only like two rooms to go through, so. But yes, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video that went up earlier concerning Poketouch, the new Pokemon trademark that Game Freak has taken out. It's going to be interesting to see what that actually comes out to be, you know, what's it going to be? Is it going to be a new a new game entirely, or, you know, some sort of app, some sort of mobile app was uh, another thing I suggested, or maybe Wii U, who knows if it's Wii U or not. I doubt it's Wii U, but who knows, who knows, who knows, guys, who knows. Right, okay, 
let's get this battle with Price done. We're going to try and just set up Stealth Rocks and then the free spikes at the start of the match just to see, you know, how well we can do with that. And then we will uh, work on just sweeping for his Pokemon with our Skarmory here. And we can always switch out to Infinite if we need to, so nothing to worry about there. Okay, so up here, up here, down here, da 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 ba ba da Okay, let's do, let's do a voice of price, shall we? Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training with Pokemon before, since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, should demonstrate my power. He sort of turned into a robot, like, I am Price, I am a power. It's supposed to be an old man, but I can't do, <laughs> can't do voice impressions. Oh well. Leader Price, let's do this. A bomber's nose is coming out first. Okay, we can easily one hit care that with Brave Bird, I'm expecting, so we'll go straight for the Stealth Rocks, you know, as I said we would. Unfortunately, Snow Warning then whipped up a Hailstorm, so we have to deal with Hail the whole match unless we get some other weather. Uh, but I don't think we actually have any weather on our team, so unfortunately we have to deal with the thingy, what was it? Oh, I can't remember the name. Hail, that's the one. <laughs> tank the Blizzard pretty... Oh, we didn't, no, we didn't, we did not tank the Blizzard pretty hard. We actually took a lot of damage from it. <laughs> we did not tank it hard at all. Damn. Um, oh, what to do here? What to do here indeed. We actually took a lot of damage from that, more than I was expecting. Because obviously it's not... We don't resist it, it's neutral against us, so... Let's use a Hyper Potion and see what he does next, and we'll see where we go from there, pretty much. Okay, so... Maximum health points again. Is he going for another Blizzard? Yes, you are. It does more damage. Oh, no, it's a, it's a one-hit... Not a one-hit kill. It's a 100% accuracy because of the hail. Yeah, usually it's, you know, low accuracy. But because of the hail, it's 100% accuracy, which really sucks. Okay, so I guess we'll have to switch out. We'll have to bring Skarmory back in later point at a later point. We'll have to take this out to Infinite, I'm guessing, to take out this... A bomber snoo because Infinite's going to resist the ice type attack, so hopefully it won't die from that blizzard. And I think we have we have able to one hit kill it with that with a blaze kit from Swags or here. So blizzard, we're going to resist. I hope <laughs> we don't resist it four times. We only resist it uh, half because it, it fight doesn't resist ice for some reason. Hope it doesn't freeze us. No, it didn't. Okay, bit uh, coming from the hail there, and we've got our wide lens on Swags or have we not? So just to help us out with blaze kick a bit here because. I think someone put in the comments that Blaze Kick isn't actually 100% even with the wide lens, it's like 99%, so <laughs> that's always helpful. <laughs> okay, so there goes the Abomaster, that thing's just gone. Good, good. What's up next? Tell me what's up next. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> More hail, brilliant. You know I love my hail, guys. Okay. What's coming up next? Dugong. So, yeah, really, Super Scarring is not going to be too good against it either there, so I'm going to go to Ezio who can use a Brick Break and, you know, Brick Break it probably in two hits. Two hit kill, probably best. Okay, let's see, shall we? Dugong is out. And it takes damage from the Stealth Rocks, so not a huge amount, but still decent damage. Let's go for the Brick Break, we get the super effective hit, and we also get that Expert Belt. So, hopefully, maybe in one? Yeah, it did. Okay, well, might not necessarily be a one hit kill, but with the Stealth Rocks it was a one hit kill. One hit kill with Stealth Rocks. What's up next, I wonder? What is up next? See, I don't know. I, see, Steel Pokemon, Water Type Pokemon, I think really shouldn't take damage from Hail because, you know, they're Steel and it's still in Water Type. Hail is going to hit them, but it's going to melt for the Water Types. Mamoswine. So, Scoop Super Skarmory is probably best here because it's obviously immune to the Ground Type moves and only Rock Type moves. It's going to take neutral damage from, same as the Ice Type attacks. So, it's his strongest Pokemon as well, taking a bit of damage from the the thing is, but not a huge amount. Let's get this hyper potion off. Hope he doesn't have something like, I don't know, sheer cold, which would be like, really? You being serious, bro? You being serious? Okay. What's coming out then? You're coming out to play. Stone Edge, yep. Predicted the rock type attack. We can resist it though. It doesn't get stabbed, so it shouldn't do a huge amount of damage, etc. Should we really set the spikes up, or is it going to do that much damage? I don't think they're going to do a huge amount of damage, to be honest, the spikes, because obviously they're not weak. Well, no one's weak to spikes, as they're like weak to stealth rocks, but hmm. Let's go for Steel, Steel Wing, and we missed. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I think we go for Brave Bird over Steel Wing, actually, because even though Steel Wing is super effective, Brave Bird's power of 120, Steel Wing's like 90, and obviously Brave Bird has a higher accuracy as well. Okay, we should be able to survive another Stone Edge, so, and also we don't take any Brave Bird recoil, which is brilliant, because we can just spam Brave Bird if we want to. Okay, let's see how this goes. Doesn't resist it, which is good. 
obviously we don't get super effective here, but the extra power is worth it, I think, so. Misses that stone edge, so that's good. Uh, I don't know if we can take out, probably, yeah, we can probably take him out with one more Brave Bird, would be my guess. Hail again, left it was again. Brilliant. See, if the hail wasn't in, we'd probably be in <laughs> a much better position, because we wouldn't be taking that, you know, persistent damage, and the blizzards wouldn't be 100% accuracy and such, but oh well. And, yeah, there goes the Mamoswine. Boom, you got owned, bro, you got owned. What's up next? What other ice types have we seen? Frostlass has got to be on his team somewhere. Um, what else is there? Glalie, probably? I'm not sure. Um, Lapras, of course, a Lapras. So send a star out for this. Unless Lapras has Earthquake, we'll be fine. Don't know if, don't, if Lapras can probably learn Earthquake, to be honest, I think. But unless it has Laf, uh, Laf, Laf unless it has Earthquake, we're fine. Because we can hit it with a nice thingy, uh, a nice fun thing here. Damage from the Stealth Rocks helps us out a bit there. And hopefully we can get some decent damage off, if not kill it. Nope, didn't quite kill it. So I'm guessing he's going for a potion next time. Oh no, Berry, okay. Yep, Barry's going to push it back up, so which means he won't use a potion at all. So Blizzard is obviously being used. Don't resist Blizzard, but we shouldn't die, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully not. The star tanked that pretty well. Obviously has a, a fairly high special defense there. Good, good. Good game. Okay, the star is buffeted by hail. And leftovers on the star here. Helps that a bit. Why is there loading? Why is there a loading mouse on my computer? That, that makes me. If I'm recording and I see my mouse turn to a loading, like you know, the loading symbol next to it, I think, shit, what's going to open over my screen there? Damn it, I didn't even do that. The other episode where it opened. Um, what opened over it? Oh, yeah, YouTube and then Skype opened over it. I didn't even remember to uh, edit that bit out. It's like, shit, fuck. I just remember that now. See, that's how terrible my fucking memory is. Unless I have someone to write it down and say, do this, then, and how, and where, I will forget. I'm so terrible. Damn it. I can't believe I forgot that. Now, should we risk taking Funger out, or should we just go straight for Super Skarm again? I guess we go for Super Skarm again. Because I don't, don't want Funger to die from a, a blizzard or whatever Glalie has lined up. Okay, so it's obviously Glalie and Frostlass we have left over here, so hopefully it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we could probably go for Steel Wing. I don't think it's going to take us out in one hit, even with the lower health there. So, let's see how much damage you do here. Okay, Glalie's gone. Good game, Glalie, good game. <laughs> good game indeed. Okay. Hail continues to fall, etc, etc. Skarm's buffeted by Hail. And leftovers. Yay, leftovers. It is exactly the same, or well, heals exactly the same as uh, the hell takes away, so. Um, I think I'm going to stand again, because we can't send out Swagzor. We could send out Swagzor, but we can't send out Funga or Ezio with a Brick Break, because it's obviously a ghost type. Hmm, <laughs> you are quite the trainer. And we'll go for a Steel Wing straight off the bat here. Damn it, we missed. Blizzard, we should resist it. Hopefully we don't die, that would be sucky. Uh, kind of regretting not going back in, but okay, yeah, we can. Oh no! See, this is why Steel type should be immune to hail. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it! We lost Super Scarmory. I uh, forgot Frostlass's power has been amped up in the uh, hack here, so unfortunately, it's got a high like, hundred special attack, which is pretty damn decent to be honest. Um, I guess we go out to Swags or then use the Blaze Kick, as I said. I thought you know Super Scarm could you know survive a Blizzard. Or at least be faster than the Frostlass. Or did, it, did we miss the Steel Ring? I can't remember. We have a missed or we're slower than it, which kind of sucked. Oh, damn it, we lost the Skarmory. Sorry, Super Skarmory, I failed you. <laughs> I failed you. Didn't even last a uh, whole episode. Damn it. Oh well, at least we defeated Leader Price. <laughs> Seems as if my luck has run out. That's what he said. That's what he said indeed. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Matt received the Glacier Badge from Price. It's my narrator voice there. Or, Matt received the Glacier Badge from Price. Maybe that one, don't know. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. Obtain TM07. What is TM07? I can't remember. That TM contains hail. It summons a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. The hailstorm damages all types except ice, which sucks. Incidentally, that was a good battle. In hope that we might face each other again, I'll give you my number. Matt registered price in a poker gear. I've got a very low narrator voice. <laughs> Don't quite know why. 
Okay, right, let's turn to the PC, get rid of the Skarmory there. The Skarmory would have been really good on our team as well. Fuck! With the Stealth Rocks would have been really helpful in future battles, but fuck. 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 Is that, yeah, Professor Elm's like, Oh my god, some shit happened in Goldenrod! Etc., which we'll have to do in a second. Um, I guess we can give the Skarmory our thingy, uh, not Skarmory, whatever Pokemon we choose to use next, we can give that the experience yet to actually sort of use here, I guess, unless I want to, yeah, I might not use that, actually. I don't want to do that because then I might, you know, my, the rest of my party might be lower leveled, so I don't want to quite do that. Oops, go away, Skarmory, go here. Out items, yes, please. Okay. What to use next? We got Murkrow, a oh, Honchkrow, sorry, uh, Togetic, but I don't, have, I don't have a shiny stone to evolve that, unfortunately, so. Gallade, another fighting type, do we really want another of those? We've already got what two? So they don't want quite one of those. Don't want another dark type either. Um, Munchlax could be helpful. King Slash could also be helpful. Oh, we are really just low on what Pokemon we have to choose from, really, because they're not really brilliantly strong any of them. I guess we we'll go for Munchlax or King Slash. I think King Slash is yeah, Sword Stance, Fire Punch, and Crush Claw. And now uh, we got some good moves there, I guess. Don't quite know which one to use there. Uh, whew. We'll cho I'll choose after the end of the episode anyway, and we'll see what we, you know, what I'm using after I come back tomorrow, I guess. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. No need to heal up. We've already healed up. So let's go and I guess run back to Golden Rod since we don't have any flying types. So let's go. Bum 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 da 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 da. Um. Yep. Yeah, I guess run back through here. Just speed run. Go away. I'm not gonna be able to use a repel here just because of the fact that it would be a waste almost. Not exactly, but. I feel like it'd be a waste, at least at least a bit of a waste. And run again. Because I only like to use repels when I'm exploring, not just like running through. And there we go. Okay, back to Equitique. And then down into Goldenrod. Boom. Not Goldenrod. Well, Route 37, then Goldenrod. Screw the uh, Apricorns. Screw Growlithe. Screw Growlithe again. I, did I say Growlithe before Growlithe even appeared? Hashtag Psychic. I'm a Psychic type Pokemon. Or a psychic type human almost. I'm one of those people you see on the side of the road in Pokemon games like, I'm a psychic type. You should be scared of me. <laughs> okay. So some shit's happening in Golden Road, you see? Team Rocket's everywhere. Get out of my way! We use Gym Trainers to never allow Team Rocket to do nasty things here in our city. Etc. Tiki, your Gym Trainers can do your problems. Stay in the gym and stay out of the way. Etc. Okay, so we go to Golden Rod. Dingy. Hello, friends. You're still just sat here. You see, even though they've taken over the whole city, they're still just sat there. Boom. Ba, da, 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 da. Who are you? We have some business going on. I was told not to let anyone pass but Team Rocket. Do you understand? You are only to come through when you are wearing the cool black uniform for Team Rocket. Well, I know exactly where to go for that. We go to the underpass. Underpass. And just run down here because it takes ages. Oh, look, I'm glitched up. <laughs> Lol. Ah, you're a newcomer too? We had to recruit new members for the radio tower mission. Then we ran out of uniforms. Oh, this is just it's, it's a Team Rocket grunt. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Look at you, pretty good. Oh, but you shouldn't try to scare people walking around alone looking like that, okay? And we're still glitched up. <laughs> Lol. And we're unglitched. Awesome. We are now wearing... We are now made with Team Rocket. Let's leave the city and be awesome. But no, they're stood there now, so... Which kind of sucks. Okay, let's enter the city once more. Or enter the, the radio tower, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's chat to this person. Ah, you must be new. You look pretty good in the Team Rocket uniform. You want ahead. Yeah, we awesome. Oh, Silver. Hey, Team Rocket. Stop going around in groups and troubling people, you cowards. <laughs> he sees me. Huh? Are you mad? What are you doing here? No way, you think you're strong now that you look like them? That's foolish, you shouldn't wear those things. Weep! And I'm me, I'm me again. <laughs> what? No, you're not a newcomer? Then battle with me! Okay, indeed we shall. Uh, we go for an ice punch. Don't know why you didn't go for double hit, really. <laughs> it's probably the better choice, but oh well. Beedro, we'll just switch out to the swags all four. Blaze kick that thing, dead. You're too powerful. You could spoil our plan. I have to inform the others. I see, you were trying to be sneaky. Huh, a typical idea of the meek. 
No matter, I'll let you handle us. I have to defeat the Dragon Tamer. What's his name? Lance. After that, it will be your turn. Be ready for it. Okay, bye, Silver. Bye, bye. Or oh, bye, YouTube, technically. <laughs> okay. Let's get this party started. Hello, you. How are you doing? Why would they want to take up the radio tower? Because they want ultimate power and domination. That's why. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hound doors out first. Let's go for a double hit, I guess. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> Dunsparce is up next. I guess double hit again. Damn it, it managed to just just tank it. Mighty Enna. We'll switch out to someone who can take it out. For example, Funga. Unfortunately, we had uh, Intimidate there, which kind of sucked. We still don't have any Psyche types. It would, might be good to put Gallo on the team, but then again, we've got, we've got three fight, fighting types then, which would be sucky. Uh, let's send the Star out. You can do it. It's the Star, I think. <laughs> I think you can. I'm not quite sure. There you are. Awesome. And you. Ha ha! How boring. It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. And there goes my attack. Stupid attack. Now we both missed our uh, attacks there, which is good. Wheezing. Just get Etsy for this, get some adaptability crab hammer off. And Night Slash, obviously. And that's that done. Now let's quickly switch Funga in rather than Glovey, because Glovey is level 47, so that's why. <laughs> Hello, you gonna give me something? Oops. And you are Buena. Today's password is help. Haha, <laughs> indeed. You, come here. Let's battle. Let's go for a oh, nothing here. Headbutt headbutt, I guess. Bronzor, so there's no good staying in because we have choice banded. Swagzor, you're up. And right on. Back to Fungra again. Bullet seed is gonna take around one hit. <laughs> Didn't take more than one bullet seed. Or technically three, but okay. <laughs> uh headbutt again, I guess. Oh dear. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. I realize you could probably get taken out by a goal back from one air slash or similar, so let's quickly run away. And use spark. Muck. Uh, muck, 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 muck. I guess Ezio is the best choice here. Nice one. It's dead. So dead. So deaded. Let's continue upwards. Uh, are we healed up? Yeah, we healed up. At least on Funga we are. Boo! I've been getting strict orders. I'm to crush anyone who challenges Team Rocket. Like me? Graveler. Wow. <laughs> Machoke. I stay out. Why not? If only we had, like, power up punch rather than mark punch, that thing would be like, dead! Ezio is going to go and take out the Sand Slash easily, and that's that. Okay. Are we level 47 now? Indeed we are. The Star, you're up. You're up, the Star. Yeah, I don't know what Pokemon I put on the team after this episode. I don't, know. I don't really know. We haven't got a huge amount of choice. I guess it's going to be Zangoose. I mean, that would be two normal types, which kind of suck, won't it? Magneton. Swagzor for this. Swagzor. Yeah. Bronzong. Um... Yeah, let's go there. Let's go out here. Night slash. Night slash. Yeah. And that was that. Okay, let's continue onwards to this person. It feels great ordering Pokemon to commit crimes. Um, does it now? <laughs> really? Does it? Or is it just you and your strange fantasies? Okay, and there we are. Is everyone level 47 now? Or is it just... Yep, everyone's level 47, so we can stay in with the star. Hello, the Team Rocket boss has locked himself in. But the director can open it. He's up on the fifth floor. Please save him. I'll try. I shall try. That'll be you again. You, who are you? Okay, we'll just yeah, get on with it, shall we? Uh, see, we're going to hit it, whatever we use. So, let's go for a crunch. It's power, more powerful. Yeah, that's why I was worried about getting, hitting it because of the poison. See, all, all five of these Pokemon are physical attackers, so it really sucks. Mark punch it. And we got poison there. <laughs> Um, yep, Funga, you're up. Use the bullet seed. Oh, shite! That was close. That was so feckin' close. Damn explosions on those electrodes. Let's get some poison uh, antidotes up. Antidotes, where are you at, bros? Antidotes. I need to buy some uh, items or, you know, hyper potions and such between episodes as well because we're running fairly low. We're only on, what, 13, and we're going to use three now, so... Okay, we're going to use more than three. We're going to use five. <laughs> ether, we don't care about ether. Ether, you suck. Oh, I did it again. Because I have to move the mouse down. It's really annoying. And there we are. Okay, awesome. Click, click. There we are. You, scientist person. Let's not battle you with the star. Let's battle you with Swagzor. Because I feel like you're going to start off with mag magmite or Magnemite or something like that. No, Porygon 2. But we can take you out of close combat. 
And then Executor, we're going to run away to... Hmm, hmm, who indeed, who indeed? Glovey, I guess. <laughs> the only one that's not going to really die from it too much. Or, oh, yeah, I, start, I guess I can send the star in, actually, yeah. Okay, hello Mary, how are you doing? Why? Why do I have to suffer with this? Meowth, help me! Team Rocket, there is something like they lack. It is music! <laughs> uh, they have pretty cool music, actually, so... Hello, you. How are you? Proton, the leader of the radio time, time mission. He's so cool. Who are you? If you are in the way of Proton, I mean Team Rocket, I wouldn't allow that. Etc. Mark Punch it. It's dead. Need a queen. Uh, Ezio, you're gonna... Crab Hammer it. Delcatty, it's my exile again. Mark Punch it again. Oh, so close. But now you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, no, she's a bit of a fangirl, isn't she? She's like, they literally put a fangirl into the game. Okay, there's the director, but it actually happens to be Patrell. So, uh, I guess we're ready for a battle. Let's do this. We have to still go around and talk to him, don't we? Ahem, do you hear me? I am the director. We have decided to broadcast wonderful shows to praise Team Rocket. Everyone, I don't want to hear you complain. Just do a good job, too. Yikes! I'm busy impersonating the... Who are you? Oh no, it's not you again, Matt! No, 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 no! I was pretending to be the director to influence the entire region to support Team Rocket. This time I won't allow it. Give me all you've got. Let's do this! I've no idea what Pokemon he has, so let's get on with this, shall we? <laughs> Hopefully he's not got too powerful Pokemon. Let's see. Raticate's up first. That's going to go down to a... Do we get from Mark Punch or do... Yeah, close combat. See, I don't want to risk a mark, I don't want to get Mark Punch and like almost kill it. And then get for a Super Fang or a you know, Hyper Fang. Better go for close combat and take it out in one hit. Even if it's going to lower our defences, we can easily switch out now. Because he's probably going to send in a water type or a flying type to combat me now. So, what's it? Hypno, yes, indeed. That's a, a type that's going to combat us. Let's send the star out with crunch, because that's going to crunch it up. Crunch it up, indeed. Hopefully, it'll get out in one hit. We don't know, though. Hopefully, it doesn't have, like, focus blast, which will really suck. <laughs> it would really quite suck. Let's see, though. Uh, okay, it's got pretty beastly defences. But it's... Oh, so close. Lowered its defence, too. Awesome. Toxic. Okay, that's not too bad, to be honest. As long as we don't have to use a star too much. We've also got antidotes we could use if we need to. And we'll finish it off with a quick, quick attack, I guess. Unless he's going to, yep, use a hyper potion. Damn it. I could use a crunch. Now we're taking him out in one. But, damn it. Should have used a crunch. Should have not conserved... Always, I'm always going to move to conserve PP. I don't know quite why. I like always conserve PP. Like if they they're like red, I'll always use a move that's less powerful than the one I use to get into red, etc. As it was shown easily there. And now it's protecting. Okay, screw this. Protecting is annoying. Now it can't. Oh my god, really? There we are. Thank you. God hit no. You're such a douche. We won't get taken out by poison this turn, but really, yeah, we can't really use the star anymore. Toxicroak's coming in, which is a poison fighting type. Uh, who should we stand up for this? We haven't got a flying type on our team at all. Uh, no, it's not really going to be great for Thunder, is it? Poison, flying type. Poison, fighting type, sorry. Uh, not going to be really great for any of them, really, apart from maybe Swags, or I guess we have to get a Swags, or... No one's good. No, everyone's weak to it. Etsy is weak, Glove is weak, Fungus is weak to Poison, the Star's poisoned anyway. Swa I guess Swags is the one to go to then. I don't really want to be taken out. Okay, Swags or you get up. We'll probably have a Blaze Kick, because obviously it's going to resist the close combat, so Blaze Kick is the way to go. Blaze kick it. Boom. You dead, bro. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully you dead, bro, but I don't know. No, half health points. And I use toxic. No, he does like using toxic, doesn't he? Wow. Hopefully this one doesn't have protect, because that would suck. That would actually suck. I don't, yeah, everyone can learn protect, I think. But I'm not sure. He did use protect. Wow. There we are. He's gone. I'm sorry, but protect pisses me off when it's used in like, battles like this. He's got some good strategies, though, trying to poison stall you out. Okay, so Swagzor's going to be almost taking a lot from... Ah, oh, I want to use that now. <laughs> um, I can't really use it. I'll get a Glovey for the Ice Punch. Don't mind speeding it up. I just felt like speeding it up. Okay, let's speed up a bit. Ice Punch. Wow. Really, again? Okay, should have gone for the uh, Antidote straight away, then, really, shouldn't I? Uh, actually, I'm going to get an Antidote on Swagzor so I can send it out. Power Whip. We're going to... Okay, it's going to miss us. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, how much damage is the poison going to do here? Uh, I guess we can go out to Swagzor because we're going to... Yeah, Blaze Kick it. Oh, so close. And Mark Punch it. Okay, should have really... Uh, uh, I guess Ezio is the one to go to here because it's a Skun Tank. So, 
Scum tank is a poison dark type again, I think, isn't it? I'm not sure. Yeah, poison dark type must be. So it's not going to have anything against us, really, unless it has, like, close combat itself. I don't, know if, don't think it learns that, so let's go for a crab hammer. Obviously, it's got toxic, because the rest of his team do. Wow. I don't know if the Raticate had toxic or not, but I think... I don't know. It might have done. I might have just missed it. And the crab hammer is hopefully going to do some decent damage with adaptability there. Oh, so freaking close. Um, I'm going to finish... Oh, he's faster than us as well, isn't he, sir? So. I'm going to finish off with Night Slash. Damn it, protect! I should have just predicted that and gone for the poison and the antidote. No, oh, fuck, really? Wow, you twat. You absolute twat, Scum Tank. Funger, I guess, is who I can send out. Oh, shit. Okay, headbutt it. Headbutt it. Headbutt it. Headbutt it. Oh, come on. Every ass is poisoned. I could have really switched out. Yeah, I should have really switched out to, like, Swags or, but... Blaze kick it. Oh, fuck me. Okay, now what do I do here? Full restore. I have full restore on me, yes. Unless that's that explosion again, which would be like, fuck off. Wow, they have such annoying moves. Oof. And if he, he's had like two health, hyper potions at least, if not three, wow. It's really annoying, that guy. Really annoying. I guess we go for another blaze kick, which is going to be faster and hopefully take it out now. And the burn's going to take it out, okay. Wow, you're a twat. Listen carefully. We stashed a real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the Golden Rod Tunnel. I'm a nice guy. I will give you the basement key to get to the warehouse. Okay, underground warehouse. Take it with gratitude. See, why? Why would you fucking do that? Because you just screwed over your evil team's plans. Fuck off, Lyra. No. You're a bitch. Betrayal's a bitch. Everyone's a bitch. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> that is it for this episode of Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. Unfortunately, we lost our Breloom as well as our freaking Skarmory. So that sucks. So, we'll have to be look looking at putting two Pokemon on our team. I'll choose them off screen, I guess. Um, because we're up to, you know, over half an hour here. So, I should really let you guys go and <laughs> carry on with your lives. But, yeah, it kind of sucks we lost two there. But, uh, you know, I guess we can't help it. Stupid door. Stupid door, you're not big enough. Let's go and quickly put them in. Ah, uh, do it off screen. It's easiest. Anyway, okay, guys, so, thank you for watching this episode of my Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. Sorry I lost two Pokemon, but that's the way it is with Team Rocket, I guess. <laughs> Stupid strategies. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.